So I reattached the downpipe, and the reason I reattached the downpipe is so that I could get an idea how much the intercooler and charge piping change alone has affected the spool. And what I have found is that I have reduced the spool time by about 400 RPM. And this is the same weather and temperature conditions with the downpipe attached, uh, with the car hot, and 95, 94 degree weather. So before, third gear, about 27 PSI would occur at about 51, 5200, whereas now, uh, right around 4700, uh, I get 27 PSI in third gear. Now, I haven't had a chance to really do fourth gear yet, but that's just what I've had as far as how that occurs with that as far as spool. It doesn't seem to have an effect on the actual torque. Now, I did adjust the cam timing to help with spool a little bit better there, but it's no different than it was before the intercooler. That cam timing is the same, and yet I still have uh, an earlier spool. And I think it has a lot to do with not only the flowing of the intercooler being better, but the charge pipe itself, that we don't have a two inch charge pipe going up the turbo, we have a two and a half, and we don't have a blow up out there for the air to run into a 90 degree bend. Uh, instead, it's like I said, on the intercooler where there's a lot less speed of the air going through there, so there's less of an impact on uh, the efficiency due to that location. Uh, I did notice the occasional soft P2261 code where it thinks the blow off valve uh, is not functioning in that fashion, but I also have a slightly stiffer spring in this blow off valve. So I don't think that's from that. I think it's because I need a little bit softer spring in it. And you can also kind of hear when the blow off valve hits, you hear that flutter, the <laughs> and uh, that is an indication of the spring on a blow off valve might be a little bit tight. And that's okay though. Um, it doesn't set a hard code. It only sets a soft code intermittently. So it just never throws an actual check into light and it never actually inhibits the boost. So, but yeah, that's the difference with the downpipe added instead of having the hood exit. Now, how much power do I think? I don't know yet, honestly, really don't know. But we'll see soon enough. We'll see soon enough, I plan to test it, but uh, I got something big coming in the future. It's on back order at the moment, but uh, I'll let y'all know soon enough. So I want to introduce you guys to somebody really important to me, and he's absolutely been uh, super important to my life. Come here and say hello. This is Loki. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I've been going through some things, but he's always been there to cheer me up and and maul me on how much he loves me. Thank you. Anyway, back to the topic at hand after just got mauled by my pup. Uh, yeah, for those of you who want to uh, go this route, uh, just contact me and I will get it set up with the fabricator. Uh, the crash bar is getting made, so these will be ready to be made. Uh, price isn't for the faint of heart, but I'll tell you right now, it's worth every penny if you're s serious about your build. If you want every possible real advantage to make this kind of power, uh, you're going to need to go this route. So that's all I have for you. Hit the subscribe, the like. Thank you everybody for following. Just takes a second to hit a button. Hit the, and uh, it just helps me out and, uh, you know, that YouTube algorithm, however it works, but I'll figure that out someday soon enough. Thank you again for tuning in, and y'all have a great day. Again.